Welcome to my studio where I'll be demonstrating how to light up a scene for a fashion style photo shoot using a metahuman in Unreal Engine. As we know, the fashion industry is constantly evolving and technology plays a huge role in its development. With Unreal Engine, we have the opportunity to create stunning virtual environments and simulate realistic clothing and fabric behaviors, but not truly showcase these designs we need to have a solid understanding of lighting. In this tutorial, I'll be sharing my lighting setup for a fashion photo shoot and how to achieve that perfect shot. So first of all, let's take a look to our scene. And as you can see, I have used just two surfaces, one as a floor and the other one as a wall and a metahuman with a sitting pose on a chair. And that's all. But before we continue, I want to share the technique that I've used to light up my scene. In the fashion industry, lighting is everything. It can make or break a photo shoot. That's why we're going to talk about the three-point lighting setup, which is a classic technique used in photography and cinematography. The setup consists of a key light, a fill light, and a backlight. The key light is the main light source usually placed at a 45 degree angle to the subject. The fill light is used to fill in the shadows created by the key light placed opposite the key light. And finally, the backlight, also known as the rim light, is placed behind the subject to create separation from the background. By using this setup, we can create dynamic and visually appealing photos that showcase the metahuman and the fashion they are wearing. Okay, first of all, I want to simulate the key lights. So in this regard, I have added a rectangular light and let me just rotate it. And yes, this is much more better. And let's add another viewport. And I'm going to change this viewport to the camera, one of the cameras that I've placed. And now I have better control on the scene. After that, I want to place this rectangular light in a way to be like 45 degrees angle from the metahuman and let's move it a bit upper and I am going to increase the size of this rectangular light to have much more softer light effect on the metahuman's face and let's rotate it to like that and yes a bit further and after that, I want to add ray traced shadow effects to this light to have much more appealing shadows on the face of the model. And let me just, I think I have to write the word ray. And yes, that's here. And let's enable the ray trace shadows to have much visually appealing shadow effects on the face and after that it is time to set the intensity of this key light to something like 10 or 11 would be okay in this case and since i want to have more dramatic and moody atmosphere in the results i'm going to decrease the temperature of the key light to something like 3000 to 4000 and yes you can see the results from the first viewport. And now it is time to add the fill light to our scene. And I'm going to add a rectangular light to simulate the fill lights. But I think I wasn't successful in that case. Let's add again. And I'm going to place it to somewhere like opposite side of the key light. and. Let's rotate it like this and move a little bit closer. And I'm going to decrease the intensity to something like two or three. And let's decrease the size of this rectangular light to have a bit sharper effects on the face of the model. And let me see. Yes, a bit closer. Yes, I think we will have amazing results at the end. And I'm going to increase the temperature to add a bit 
coziness to my scene and yes I think it looks much more better let's see from this angle and from this one again yes looks perfect and now it is time to add the backlight which is also known as rim light and let's place it behind the subject to add the separation we need to separate the subject from the backside of the scene and let me place the viewport to something like that and let's move it a little bit closer and let's set the intensity to something like five or six and I'm going to decrease the size of this rectangular light too to have much more sharper effects and look at the hair of the metahuman you can see the results of having this rectangular light in the backside of the metahuman as a rim light and I'm going to use a purple rim light which can create an interesting and unique look for the photos and add a cool tone and provide contrast to the warm tones of the key and fill light however it's important to use it carefully and not make it too overpowering as it can detract from the overall aesthetic of the scene and from this angle you can see the effect of ring light that we used in our project it's obvious and the highlights that we've created on the chair are also perfect and I think I forgot to add ray trace shadows to the rim light and fill light and yes now we have much more appealing shadow effects in our scene let's change the camera report to this one and as you can see the right lighting can make all the difference in creating a stunning image that captures the perfect mood and ambience with Unreal Engine's powerful real-time rendering capabilities, the possibilities for fashion, simulation, and virtual photo shoots are endless. Don't forget to experiment with different lighting setups and stay tuned for more tips and tricks in the world of fashion and Unreal Engine. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest content. See you.